Thank you. The Southern Poverty Law Center releasing their annual report on hate and extremist groups, including neo-Nazis, anti-government militias, and apparently parental rights organizations. The advocacy group adding a dozen such organizations, including Moms for Liberty, to their list. This, as we learned that the researcher behind the latest edition reportedly met with Biden national security officials back in January. Tiffany Justice is one of the co-founders of Moms for Liberty, and she joins us now. Good morning to you, Tiffany. Good morning, Ainsley. Thanks for having me on. Well, thanks for coming on. What is your reaction to this? It's just absolutely absurd. I, I mean, you know, we are parents who are concerned about the state of education in America and the future of our country. And uh, to be put on a list like this, I mean, you know, it, it's just ridiculous, to be honest with you. And you're right. You know, parents were called domestic terrorists uh, by the Department of Justice at the bidding of the NSBA. Uh, and now, again, we see uh, what looks like a, a, co a coordinated effort against parents, again, to silence and suppress us. And the question really is, why are we such a threat? And your organization that has the word moms in it, right up there with the Ku Klux Klan, they say. Yeah, I mean, I had to tell my daughter... Uh, that this had happened because I wanted her to know she's 18 and you know and she was like oh my gosh mom they have like you on the page with United Skinhead Nation what is that and so you know I mean this is the level of absurdity uh, that we've come to but you know we just finished some national polling Ainsley and what we're seeing is that 70 percent of parents believe that education in America is on the wrong track and so I think we're a threat because we're bringing people together across party lines across racial lines across religious lines all these ways that people seem to want to divide us in America. And, uh, you know, parents have that commonality. We have fundamental parental rights. Tiffany, uh, Vivek headlined a Moms for Liberty town hall. I know you know that. You were there in New Hampshire. He says, it's my privilege to join my favorite hate group and extremist yes. group today. And then he said this about the Department of Education. Parents determine the education of our children. That's a hard truth in America. We do not want the federal government involved in education at all. That's why as a presidential candidate, I've been very clear, as the first one to say it, I will abolish the U.S. Department of Education, which should have never existed in the first place. Tiffany, what was your reaction to that? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's asking the right questions and he's calling out the Department of Education. The federal government is trying to have more and more control over local uh, public education. And that's why Moms for Liberty endorses only in school board candidates. We're focused on fixing education in America because Ainsley, we have a failing system. We have nearly two thirds of children not reading on grade level in America. And that is a national crisis. And so I think the fact that presidential candidates are coming to our summit at the end of this month in Philadelphia, we have President Trump coming, Vivek is coming, uh, Governor Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, because they care about the issues that parents care about. And so as long as all of these candidates are talking about the issues uh, that we want to talk about, education and parental rights, then parents in America are winning. And you're a group, you, you told our producers earlier, you're a group of moms and dads and grandparents, aunts and uncles, community members that are just very concerned about the direction of our country. Tiffany, thank you for coming on.